Hi viewers and students. At the part of discussion in the chapter sets, today we discuss new concept in the sets that is disjoint sets. Take heading disjoint sets. What are disjoint sets? The sets which do not have common elements are said to be disjoint sets. Once again, we listen to the definition. The sets which do not have common elements are said to be the joint sets. The joint set means the sets not having common elements. If A is a set, B is another set. When you observe set A and set B, all the elements of set A are different from set B. All the elements of set B are different from set A. No element of set A and set B are equal. They are totally different. Then these two sets A and B are called as disjoint sets. Let us understand the disjoint set by an example. Let us take simple example. Set A is equal 1, 2, 3, 4 as its element. And set B is equal to A, B, C, D are the elements of set B. When do you observe these two sets, you can conclude very clearly set A has numbers as its elements and set B has alphabet as its elements. No element of set A are in set B, no element of set B are in set A. We can conclude that there are no common elements to set A and set B. We obviously say A and B are disjoint sets. Okay, let us take one more example to understand uh, disjoint sets. Do you know even numbers and odd numbers? Even numbers, anybody say even numbers definition? Okay, the numbers which are divisible by 2 are called even numbers. When we divide even numbers by 2, we get the remainder 0. These numbers are the even numbers. And again, the numbers which are not divisible by 2 are called odd numbers. As we discussed earlier, even numbers and odd numbers are known to us. Let us denote a set of even numbers by capital E. What are the elements of E? Okay, obviously even numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, dash, dash. These are the elements of set of even numbers E. And Set of odd numbers is denoted by capital O. What are the elements of uh, capital O? Okay, very good. We write the odd numbers in capital O. O is equal 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and so on. You can see set of even numbers and odd numbers on the screen. Okay, children. Set of even numbers and odd numbers. What did you observe from these two sets? E and O. Can you find any common elements in both the sets? No. Even numbers are divisible by 2 or numbers are not divisible by 2. So you cannot find any common element in both the sets, set of even numbers and odd numbers. So obviously we conclude that these two sets have no common elements. So these are the disjoint sets. Now let us take one more example for the better understanding of the concept disjoint sets. Children, do you know integers, set of integers? Anybody of you say integers? Very good. Integers denoted by Z and the elements of integers are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, dash, dash and minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, dash, dash. Here, 1, 2, 3, 4, dash, dash, these are all positive integers and 0 is neither positive nor negative and minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, dash, dash are negative integers. Let us denote the set of negative integers by capital N. What are the elements of capital N? Say children. Very good. Negative integers. Set is denoted by capital N. Capital N is equal to minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, so on. These are the elements of uh, negative integers. And let us take uh, one more set, set of positive integers. It is denoted by capital P. What are the positive integers? You can say children. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that, that. These are the positive integers. What did you observe from these two sets? Set of negative integers n and set of positive integers p. What did you observe? Is there any common element? 
in both the sets very good no there is no common elements to the set of negative integers and positive integers obviously these two sets are these joint uh, sets you can take so many examples from our daily life also let us take uh, one example set of students of ninth class in our school and set of students of 10th class in our school students of 9th class are different and students of 10th class are different no student uh, you can find in set of 9th class students and set of 10th class students these two sets set of uh, students of 9th class in our school set of students of 10th class in our school these uh, two sets are also disjoint sets we can discuss so many examples for the disjoint sets now let us take some more concepts in disjoint sets as we discussed uh, disjoint sets have no common elements let us take one example set a consists of the elements 1 2 3 4 set b consists of the elements 5 6 7 8 9 10 these are the elements of set b what did you observe clearly these two are design sets set a has 1 2 3 4 as its elements and set b has 5 6 7 8 9 10 as its elements now let us try to find uh, intersection b here a and b are the design sets now let us uh, try to find a intersection b you can see the same example on the screen a intersection b is equal first we write set a what are the elements of set a children 1 2 3 4 here the operation intersection is taken in between set a and set b so we write intersection now we take set b what are the elements of set b very good 5 6 7 8 9 10 these are the elements of set b here operation intersection is taken in between set a and set b intersection means the common elements of set a and set b taken as elements of a intersection b children can you find any common elements in both the set set a and set b no so a intersection b has no elements so what we write empty set the a intersection b set has no elements so we write a intersection b is equal null set or empty set this is also denoted by 5 so we write a intersection b is equal 5 what did you observe from this example if a and b are two disjoint sets then a intersection b is equal 5 null set you have to keep in mind intersection of uh, the joint sets is a null set let us try to note a point if uh, a and b are two disjoint sets then a intersection b is equal to 5 okay children now sometimes uh, a question will be asked a and b are disjoint sets what is the cardinal number of a intersection b that means n of a intersection b from the above example we can write we find a and b are disjoint sets a intersection b is equal to null set number of a intersection b means number of elements in a intersection b how many elements are in this a intersection b here a intersection b is a null set so number of elements in a intersection b is what 0 and of a intersection b is equal 0 that means you keep in your mind one more point if a and b are two disjoint sets n of a intersection b is equal 0 okay two key points are here a and b are two disjoint sets then a intersection b is equal to 5 this is the first point and if a and b are two disjoint sets then number of a intersection b is equal to 0 these two points you have to keep in your mind now uh, let us take one more example and find uh, the union of two disjoint sets then discuss what uh, we observe 
See children, let's take same example set A is equal 1, 2, 3, 4 as its elements. Set B 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 as its elements. We have to find A union B. A union B is equal first you write set A. What are the elements of set A? 1, 2, 3, 4. Here the union operation is taken in between set A and set B. So we write union. And we write set B. What are the elements of set B? Clearly 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Here, union operation is taken in between set A and set B. Union of A and B means A union B, this is also a set, consists of all the elements of set A and set B. What are the elements of A union B here, children? All the elements of set A and all the elements of set B are taken into consideration as the elements of set A union B. So, first we take the elements of set A. What are those? 1, 2, 3, 4. Let us write 1, 2, 3, 4 in A union B set. A union B is called 1, 2, 3, 4. And we write the elements of set B also. What are the elements of set B? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we write all these elements in A union B. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, what are the elements of A union B? A union B is called 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, let us uh, discuss. Set A has the elements 1, 2, 3, 4. What is N of A? Number of elements in A. Very good, 4. Set B consists of the elements 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. What is N of B? Number of elements in B. 6. Very good. What is the number of elements in A union B? N of A union B. A union B consists of the elements 1 to 10. So, totally 10 elements are consisted in A union B. So, N of A union B is equal 10. You can now find N of A plus N of B. What is that? N of A is equal 4. N of B is equal 6. N of A plus N of B is equal N of A 4 plus N of B 6. 4 plus 6 that is equal 10. What is N of A union B? Is equal 10. What did you observe from all this discussion? A and B are design sets. N of A plus N of B is equal 10. N of A union B is equal 10. From these two, we conclude N of A plus N of B is equal to N of A union B. So, we keep in mind, if A and B are two design sets, N of A plus N of B is equal to N of A union B. Very easy. They, those two are design sets. A union B consists of all the elements like that. N of A plus N of B is equal to N of A union B.